हेलो एवरीवन आई एम मोनिका फ्रॉम आइल्स नाइन सो दिस इज द टाइटल ऑफ द रीडिंग पैसेज बोविट्स दिस वाज आल्सो पार्ट ऑफ फोर्टीन जनवरी आइल्स एग्जाम दिस रीडिंग टेस्ट ओके सो आई वांट टू से वन थिंग बिफोर स्टार्टिंग माय दिस वीडियो प्लीज जस्ट रिमेंबर दैट यू आर गोइंग टू पे फिफ्टीन प्लस फॉर दिस आइल्स एग्जाम सो ऑलवेज look after or take care or just remember this is your parents hard earned money as well as if you are working or you are just filling the dates for your general training exam your finances are limited so nobody is having unlimited finances okay so take care of these things before filling the final exam before whenever you are fully prepared for your ielts exam then you fill the exam okay let's start and less uh, after reading uh, the title and all you have to look at the uh, type of questions we have so first type of question we have for 1 2 3 number questions mcqs multiple choice questions choose the correct letter second type of question is uh, match each characteristic with the cor uh, correct sub families means you have been given these options characteristic and you have to match it with list of uh, sub families or list of people or something so list of uh, kind of question is there you have to match with these alphabets with these options okay now third type of question we have third type of question we have answer the questions below choose no more than 3 words so let's start with first type of question that is my mcqs multiple choice question choose the correct letter i will start reading it from here so this is my first question in which region is the biggest range of bovids to be found in which region so first for doing mcq always understand these question statements and uh, then you go to the location and then uh, read it and then come back to the options in which region means area is the biggest range of bovids to be found biggest widest range of bovids to be found so what are bovids so we don't know what are bovids so uh, because we have read only title so definitely we, uh, we have to read it uh, in the paragraphs we will come to know we, what are bovids actually these are um, some animal kind of name okay so this is my first paragraph and i will start reading it from the first i was looking for bovid bovid okay the family of mammals so as i told you this is a name of any animal uh, bovids belong to this class which also includes giraffes bovids are highly diverse group consisting of 137 species which of men are most important domestic animals okay so bovids are well represented in most parts of eurasia uh, are well represented in most parts of eurasia and south east asian islands but they are far the most numerous and diverse in later some species of bovid are solitary no we are not looking for solitary but others live in large groups with complex social structure okay so most parts of south so first question was this this only in which region the biggest range of bovids to be found biggest range so biggest range so they have given uh are well represented in most parts of but we are looking for biggest range also south east asia asian island but they are far from okay others live in large groups although bovids have adopted so let's read the another so this is the second part this is the uh, uh, next part of b paragraph to a wide wide range of habitats from arctic tundra to deep tropical forest okay the majority of species favor open grassland scrub or desert okay yes i get uh, i guess we have found the answer in those lines only so this is the question in which region area is the biggest range of bovids are to be found we have read the uh, passage africa eurasia north america south east asia and are well represented in most part means biggest uh, region uh, biggest range of most parts of eurasia southeast mm, uh, uh, asian islands but they are far the most numerous and diverse in the letter okay in the letter so letter uh, so letter letter so we are using this word in writing task 2 also means this one last one 
न्यूमरस एंड डाइवर्स सो इट मीन्स दिस विल कम एज ए आंसर ओके साउथ ईस्ट एशिया नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज मोस्ट बोवेट्स हैव ए प्रेफरेंस फॉर लिविंग इन आइसोलेशन सो वट द स्टेटमेंट इज सेंग मोस्ट बोविट्स मोस्ट ऑफ द बोविट्स मैक्सिमम हैव ए प्रेफरेंस फॉर लिविंग इन वेदर दे आर फॉर आइसोलेशन सो फॉर अदर थ्री ऑप्शन आर ऑल्सो देयर बट लेट्स फाइंड द लोकेशन हैव ए प्रेफरेंस फॉर लिविंग इन ओके लेट्स लुक एट द आफ्टर द दैट पैराग्राफ नाउ वी हैव रेड दिस पैराग्राफ ऑल्सो वी कूडेंट फाइंड द मोस्ट प्रेफरेंस इज ऑल्सो मैच बाय who stands no so despite differences in size and appearance bovids are uh, united by possession of certain common features all species are ruminants so they are talking out something different okay grazing okay so let's leave this question because unnecessarily we are uh, we are reading these paragraphs let's find the another question also actually this is the question i was confused in another page so the question is most bovids have a preference for living isolation small groups tropical forest wide open spaces so we were just uh, we were reading about this thing in b paragraph only i will show it to you here some species of bovid are solitary means alone but others live in large groups with complex social structure large group so it means large group preference for living in okay so no 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 we have to read it uh, next although bovids have live in large groups with com uh, complex social structures although bovids have adapted yes here they are talking to a wide range of habitats from arctic tundra wide range of habitats okay from tundra to deep tropical forest the majority of species favor open grassland that i had underlined it in fact open grassland it was it is given in wide open spaces so this will be the answer so actually i was confused in uh, uh, second question i was taking but three options i was reading it some other questions that's why i got confused okay third question is so third question which of the following features do all bovids have in common so that was also given in the next c paragraph c paragraph common features word is there uh, have features horns are short sh short um, they have upper incisor they store food in the body they, uh, their hooves are undivided okay here it is given all species are ruminant which means they retain all okay they retain undigested food in their stomachs and uh, it's as a necessary bovids are almost exclusively exclusively herbivorous plant eating incisor front tooth okay all all bovids have in common no upper incisor they store food in the body so they are talking about undigested all species are ruminants which means they retain so this will come uh, they store food in the body okay now let's move on to the next 4 to 8 number question so here what they are saying we have already read the instructions from questions 4 to 8 we have to select uh, for for 4 to 8 we have to select these options a b c d is uh, is there and uh, these uh, these animals names are given so let's read it can endure very harsh environment okay okay includes the ox and the cow may supplement its diet with meat um, move a speed uh, does not defend a particular area of a or area of land okay so what are the options first antelope okay second option is bovine caprine and this uh, this name also capen hol fine okay so uh, so we were reading yes we we have finished this c paragraph so paragraph wise paragraphs please follow the reading passage okay now we have done this paragraph c paragraph now i will be reading d paragraph let's find what we can find it here typically their teeth are uh, modified for browsing and grazing so we are reading about bovids bovids bovid word also there Uh, typically their teeth are highly modified for browsing and grazing grass or foliage is scraped with upper lip and then ground down by uh, down by the 
stick teeth as well as cloven split hooves the male of uh, bovid species female of most carry horns bovid horns have bony uh, covered in a shed material that is they are unbranched and never shed okay they vary in shape and size relatively simple horns of a large indian buffalo may measure around 4 meter from tip to top <coughs> and uh, along the outer curve while have horns variety of elegant curves okay so they are talking about let's read the options first okay so we have read this d paragraph so this these four options are there bovine antelope bovine caprin and this okay so in this paragraph they are talking about bovids so bovid they have started it from here bovids 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 bovid means bovine maybe but they are talking about indian buffalo okay okay so let's read the options first so these are the option uh, options can endure very harsh environment this they were not talking about in that paragraph includes ox and cow so indian uh, they were talking about large indian buffalo so this i can consider it but yes of course i am not uh, doing it for permanent let's find it if i if i will be finding it some other thing in another paragraph for any other option definitely i will change it miss um, diet with meat no they were not talking about meat usually speed no any do does not defend a particular area of land land particular area of land also let's uh, okay so let's uh, go to the another paragraph okay so we can uh, e paragraph now d paragraph we have read so only i can match large indian buffalo yes i can understand ox and cows are famous in india only so five groups or sub families may be distinguished bovine antelope this 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 the sub family bovine comprises most of the large bovids including the african bongo and this 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 cattle cattle also is given unlike most other bovids they are all known a uh, non non terrestrial the ancestors of the various species of domestic cattle okay so first they are talking about bovine earlier they were talking bovids they were talking about bovids okay so so here they have started talking about bovine so we were also looking for bovine word comprises most of large bovids okay yes yes bovids see yes, same things they are they have discussed in d paragraph okay so uh, let's move on to the another paragraph so this is the continuity of e paragraph we were reading it they have started with bovine uh, most of the larger bovids including this and cattle they are talking unlike unlike most other bovids they are all non terrestrial uh, okay the ancestors of various species of domestic cattle this yak and water buffalo are generally rare and endangered in the wild is domestic cattle of europe is extinct okay so what we can match with bovine okay so <coughs> buffalo they are also talking rare and endangered in the animal and here they are talking about unlike most other bovids they all are non terrestrial okay let's read the options first so includes ox and cow yes this will go with bovine and then last he is saying does not defend a particular area of a land so i think this will come with this because here they are talking about non -ter territorial unlike most other bovids they are all non territorial okay so we can match this with um, b also now let's uh, move on to the next paragraph that is f1 f the term antelope we were looking for this because it is the first option is not very precise okay it is used to loosely number of bovids that have followed different lines of development antelopes are typically long legged fast running species often uh, long long horns that may be laid along the back when animal is in full flight okay along the back when animal is in full flight means running kind of thing they are to fast running also yes there was an option fast running 
uh, you can usually move a speed so i will be putting for this a answer seventh is a okay so let's complete this paragraph there are two subgroups of antelope okay this ox oxy which generally contains lighter and more graceful animals this antelopes are mainly grassland species but have adopted to but have many have adopted to flooded grasslands okay uh, are all good at swimming usually feeding in deep water while has long splayed hooves that enable it to walk freely on swampy ground so is there anything Mm, this we have done can endure very harsh environments okay v will it come endure very harsh environment harsh environment <coughs> environment is not there but initially i will be putting this uh, a but later on we can if we have we will get some other uh, uh, option for this then we can change it okay but there is harsh environment we can't say deep water swampy ground they are just showing so i but let's we will change it at the end okay now g paragraph this word also there this this one is c c option the sub family includes sheep and goat together with various relative relatives goral most are woolly or long hair such as wild goats chimus cliff mountain dwellers tolerance of extreme conditions is marked in extreme conditions is marked in this group yes so so i will be changing my answer with c it is not a it is c extreme conditions extreme harsh environment means extreme condition okay so uh, tolerance tolerance means endure like can endure very harsh environment okay so uh this we this g paragraph we have done now let's move on to h paragraph the duke of africa belongs to the this now another d part is there d option i will show you the option this is a option okay so we are writing these options here this is b option this is c option now this is left so we have uh, so this is in h paragraph we have got this option the duke of africa belongs to this sub family it is generally small and solitary solitary often living in thick forest although many feeding on grass and leaves swim dukes unlike most other let's move on to the next page yes bovids are believed this is also uh, remaining part of f paragraph are believed to eat insects feed on dead animal even to small kill animals so it means meat they are talking about meat so there was one option so if one option was d it will come with d so every option we have done now let's move on to the next uh, question now next questions from 9 to 13 answer the questions below no more than three words means two one Uh, word also we can write so what is the smallest species of bovid called smallest species so it means where they are talking about bovid we have to find it there okay which species of bovine has now died uh, died out so one paragraph is left let's read it what facilitates the movement of this yes this was al also word was also there over wetlands swampy lands they were talking about what sort of terrain do barbary sheep live in okay what is the only living member of the sub family okay so i will be looking for i know where is this location so definitely we will go yeah here here in this paragraph f paragraph they were talking about swampy ground wetlands and this this word is also there so let's read it what they want what facilitates the movement of this over wetland okay uh while that this uh, setientunga has long splayed hooves that enable it to walk freely on so it means we can use three words this 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 is the main and these are the adjectives for this hooves word okay long splayed hooves so we will be writing this word so this answer i have written long splayed hooves so if you want you can write in all capital letters okay there is no problem then it will be easy to understand those computers okay so 
यस बार्बरे शिप वी नो वेयर दे वर टॉकिंग अबाउट बार्बरे वर्ड इज इन जी पैराग्राफ सो वेन एवर वी आर रीडिंग द पैराग्राफ्स इन रीडिंग पैसेजेस जस्ट ओपन जस्ट कीप ओपन योर माइंड ऑल्सो एट दैट टाइम इट शुड नॉट बी लाइक दैट दैट यू हैव जस्ट रेड यू डोंट नो अबाउट दैट पैराग्राफ सो बार्बरे वर्ड वॉज ऑल्सो दे आर सो दे वट दे आर आस्किंग वट सॉर्ट ऑफ टी रेन डू बार्बरे बारबेरे शिप लिव इन वट शॉर्ट शॉर्ट ऑफ ओके बारबरे एंड बिग शिप हैव अडेप्टेड टू एरिड डेजर्ट्स रोकी माउंटेन शिप सर्वाइव हाई एप इन मस्क ऑक्सीजन इन इन आर्कटिक टूंड्रा सो डेजर्ट इज नॉट एट टेरेन सो आर्कटिक टूंड्रा वी कैन राइट इट हैव अडोप्टेड टू एरिड डेजर्ट्स वट वी कैन राइट इट सो देर मस्ट बी कन्फ्यूजन just read it again tolerance of extreme this we have read barbary and big sheep have adapted to arid deserts <coughs> arid deserts arctic tundra so word is here location is here so why we are going there have adapted to arid deserts so we will be writing arid deserts write in capital letter okay whatever the spelling is given please do it okay what is the smallest species of bovid called bovid bovid yes which is the smallest species of bovid called so i have found this smallest species of bovid called uh, the duker of africa belongs to this sub family it is generally small often living in thick forest although many feeding on grass so this i can put it this this word okay so <coughs> this i will write now which species of bovine uh, bovine has uh, has now died out and what is the only living member of the this sub family what is the only living member of the family okay we have left another paragraph also that is i paragraph after f okay is the only sole survivor of a new world sub family of herbivorous neurons so prong horn is the sole survivor only living member of this is also given so we will be writing the prong horn okay we can write prong horn or only uh, the prong horn also the pro or only this also now this i have written now what is the answer for this which species of bovine has now died out okay it is although greatly so is the sole survivor survivor of a new world sub family of herbivorous dianti uh, in north america only survivor of a world sub family of this in north america it is similar in appearance old world antelope habits to the although greatly reduced in number since the arrival of and grassland prong is still found in okay from box when alarmed by approach of wolves okay so is the sole survivor of this family okay so we can write this word also so but i have to confirm it with other paragraphs let me find it yes when i try to find it everywhere here i have found this word extinct okay and endangered in the wild while the auroch the ancestor of domestic cattle of europe is extinct so we can write this word the auroch okay the same word we have to write it here for this answer a uh, bovine so bovine every uh, so every because here in next paragraph they are talking about antelope so before that they were talking about bovine also the auroch so whatever spelling they have given you have to write it carefully okay so now we have done this reading that is bovids from this ielts exam okay thank you so much